Okay, I'm going to be doing a quick review and demonstration of the Wubin C3. This is a torch I received in the mail a few weeks ago. I've been pretty pleased with how it's performed and I want to go through just some of the features and um, also talk about the things I liked and didn't like about it. At the end of this video, I'm going to be going through some beam shots. So you can check in the description. I'll link the uh, chapter to the, of the beam shot. So you, if you want to skip right through to the end, but listen along if you can, that's going to help you decide whether this torch is uh, appropriate for you or not. So I'll talk a little bit about the features. So this uh, is, it contains a P9 LED, an Osram P9 LED. So that produces 1,200. 200 lumens so it's definitely pretty bright for most purposes um, especially if you're out at night walking around in the park um, you know even around the house there's lower modes on this thing so it's quite versatile it does have that turbo mode that allows you to throw up to 100 plus i think 179 meters is what the specifications state i'm just going to go through and show you what um, the battery tube in what the battery looks like inside. So there you go, that's the 18650 cell, 2600 milliamp hour battery. And um, compared, if you look at that, this is compared to a 21700 cell. I mean, they're very, very similar in size. Um, you know, the, the, the 21700 is just a little bit longer and wider. Um, but you know this having a having a smaller battery does contribute to a thinner a thinner torch which fits in your pocket a uh, bit a little bit nicer especially with this nice clip on it and it only allows you to uh, detach the tail cap you can't sort of get into the head of it in any way um, it's a tail switch light has a tir optic as you can see in the top here so no reflector at all it just uh, redirects that light through some polycarbonate into a beam and the beam is uh, it's fairly throwy but it's also got a lot of flood as well so it's quite practical and i i don't i'm not a huge fan of those torches that just throw and um don't provide any any kind of flood so i mean it's you know you get one um you know lep torches on one side of the spectrum but um that just basically produce that thin throw beam and uh, nothing else but this has uh, sort of both and this cost me about $40 on Amazon and I thought it was a really good deal I really like the uh, construction of the torch as well it's got a nice anodization finish and um, it just feels nice and solid in, in, in your hands it's nicely weighted as well it's 12 centimeters 123 grams I find that it slips in the pocket very nicely just due to the extra um, thinness that you get from the torch and that's from the 18650 cell I've got a lot of 21700 cell torches this is the only one that I have that actually um, is an 18650 cell so I do find it does slip into the pocket with less sort of um, interruption I suppose it does have one of these indicators here on the side so it basically goes from a blinky green all the way to red so every time you turn the torch on um, you get that that light that sort of lights up and then you can tell at what stage um, the battery's at so it's a really good feature so that you know roughly when you need to charge the battery and uh, the switch is on the tail cap as you can see right on the end here and it's got the uh, Wubin, Wubin logo here at the back and uh, how you change the modes essentially is that you switch the um, switch the torch on and uh, at the moment it's on a uh, I think it's on the low mode and you just tap that that switch just tap that switch and that's the high mode I think oh no that's the high mode there so um, it sort of cycles through low eco and um, a couple of higher modes and also if you want to get straight into the SOS mode you basically just turn the the um, torch on and then you tap that twice at the back and that's something I want to talk about later as well because I do find that kind of tricky to get it into that strobe mode you really have to um, you really have to get that timing right because if you don't hit that uh, hit that tail cap fast enough 
it just sort of cycles through. So that's just something to keep in mind. I really like the tail clip. Now the tail clip has a different kind of finish on it. It's not the same as the body. But what I like about it is that it's really easy to kind of clip on. So there's not there's a you know there's there's not a huge amount of resistance there, but it's enough so that it clips onto your belt um, or just the inside of your pocket, and be confident that it's not going to fall out. So the USB-C charging port you can see here, uh, great function. I love this thing. I only get torches. Um, most torches anyway that have this USB-C port, it just makes it so much more convenient. It wasn't something I think some years ago where uh, torches had this, this uh, kind of uh, option. So very pleased at that. If you're taking it, you know, into areas where there's a bit of water, just make sure you've got that thing covered up. Obviously with that port in there, there's just that um, risk of um, water getting in there and, and uh, ruining the torch. So always have that covered up. Um, the overall finish, like I said, is really nice for the, the price that I paid, especially it's I'm really quite impressed with it. I'll bring out a few other torches that I have as well, just so you can compare the size of them. So I've got a bunch over here. Um, so starting on the left, I've got the Wubin C2. Okay, Wubin C, I'll put, put these two together. And you can see it's um, you know, a fair bit wider and uh, longer as well. So definitely this makes more of an impression in the pocket, even compared to this one here, the Sofern SP35 um, that I have in here. Uh, it's pretty similar even to the Wubin C2. So there's a little bit of a difference with the SP35 and the Wubin C3. Um, you can see there, this is the IF25A, Surfing IF25A, and that is the um, Immolate MS03. So, I mean, if you had them all next to each other, you wouldn't be able to tell a huge difference, but definitely I could, um, I feel like this one just makes a bit less of an impression in the pocket. You don't notice it as much. I find the one I carry around a lot is this one, um, this one here, or even the Sofern SP. 35 these two on the side they kind of get a, a bit annoying in the pocket at times so depending on where I'm going but uh, yeah that's my impression and just also giving giving you a, a um, comparison between the a few other torches that I own so um, I want to go through some uh, yeah just a few things that I like about the torch a few things that I didn't like so I think I've talked a good good amount um, about the things that I, I did like so we've gone through you know the charging the battery indicator it's uh, water resistant construction I, I think it's it's pretty fantastic at this price range um, one of the things that came up when I was buying this torch was I was looking at some of the previous reviews for some some time and there were a bunch of these torches that failed so the C2 and the C3 but I've not had any issues with my two torches. Wubin's been producing torches since 1981 and from what I've read they've also produced torches for other companies as well so definitely been in the business for some time it's just only recently that they've actually started making uh, their own torches under their own brand but uh, something that they definitely have experience in so a couple of things that uh, I think would be good for Wubin to address next time is the strobe mode so I find it quite tricky to get into the strobe mode. A lot of these torches have a triple click that allow you to get straight into the strobe mode so that's uh, separate from the other modes. Um, the strobe is separate from the other modes, but it's a double click to get into it. And it's also a bit finicky. So sometimes I turn it on um, and then I'll double click it. It takes me a little while to get that strobe on. You really have to be quite quick uh, to get those two taps in so that it registers um, and gets into that strobe mode and, and from there you can double tap again and then it goes into the SOS mode so that's something that kind of annoyed me a, a bit just trying to get into that strobe mode not that you use it too often another thing is that because it's a double click function I find that you can accidentally activate that strobe at times so 
Um, that's something to keep in mind if you're changing modes pretty quickly on your phone just to cycle through the modes to get through eco up to up to um, high or something like that if you click too fast you might actually get into the strobe mode so that's a bit of an annoying thing I, I hope Wubin changes that UI a bit next time maybe just adds in a triple click something like that um, I really like the eco mode on this um, on this torch and it also remembers the last mode as long as it's uh, from eco up until the highest mode um, it doesn't memorize the strobe like most other most other torches um, another thing that I think uh, could be addressed is the TIR lens as you can see here I think it will be much better if Wubin were to put a external bit of glass or something on, on the top there to protect it. I have noticed there's a few little scratches on the TIR um, lens. You're not able to see it, probably just from keys keys scratching the bottom of it or, or what have you. And, um, you know, I had a look at my Surfern IF25A and um, taking it apart, basically, it has... Uh, TIR optic just like the Wubin, but it has a separate glass um, uh, glass in front of it. So it does protect that optic a little bit more. So that's just something I thought to keep in mind. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this torch and its output. I find through extended use of it as well, it doesn't get too hot, not like my other um, 21, uh, 21700 torches that they get very very hot on top and that's uh, probably due to the efficiency of the emitter the heat sinking and um, just the reduced lumens of this torch overall but it makes it a really good contender for um, you know a general EDC something that you can keep around the house um, really surprised at how far this thing throws as well just for a little torch like that so we'll go through some beam shots and if you have any questions, you want to find out where to buy this torch as well, I do have it linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Here's some quick beam shots of the Wubin C3. I've got it, uh, I'm going to switch it on, put it into the low mode first. Okay. And uh, it's really just one of, those, one of those switches where you hit the back of the tail switch halfway and you get uh, a mode change. Okay, you can also unscrew the tail and uh, screw it back in, it does the same thing. So low, this would be low two or medium, okay, like that. Uh, it's got a good amount of spill and a nice, uh, nice hot spot in the center. I wouldn't say at this point it doesn't reach too far. Let's go ahead and bump it up a notch. This would be at least medium or high, second highest mode. Okay. And I'm really, really impressed at how smooth the beam is. You can even see up this tree. Look at that. All the way up to the top of the tree. Switch that to the highest mode and look at that. Really great illumination and uh, smoothness to this beam as well. And one thing I'm noticing is that, that this light does not get hot at all. I'm sure if I had this uh, on for quite some time um, that head would probably get pretty hot but for 1200 lumens this light is really managing the uh, heat quite well. Um, I can see even the top of those trees there, illuminating those trees. Uh, I don't know how far that would be, maybe 50, 50 to maybe 100 meters away. Okay, the fellow on his skateboard there. Okay. Um, I dare say the light may be starting to ramp down slightly. Okay. We start to ramp down a bit but it is holding at uh, this level at the moment which is more than uh, definitely more than adequate very impressed I'm just going to tap the, the tail switch a couple of times and by doing that it's kind of hard to get it exactly you get this strobe effect okay it sort of flickers between a very fast strobe and a very um, slow strobe so nice little function to have